golfers, welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to discuss is two common faults I see on a regular basis on the lesson tee when related to pitching. So we know a pitch shot, if you golfers are generally new to the game, we know a pitch shot is a high shot that lands softly, a chip shot runs a lot more all along the ground. So a pitch shot, we see a kind of couple of common faults when related to setup. So when we hit a pitch shot, it's all about kind of using the bounce. So how do we expose the bounce to generate a little bit more spin and cleaner contact? So a lot of golfers will stand a little bit too wide of their stance and their shoulders. So instead of what we always say is when you're pitching, your shoulders should be relatively level. But a lot of golfers will get this right shoulder moving a little bit too low compared to the left shoulder being a little bit too high. So that technique is good if you hit driver because you want to hit up and driver slightly. But what we need to do is we need to eliminate that shoulder tilt. Also, the next thing we see is we see a lot of golfers, this is kind of coincides with what we talked about there. We see a lot of golfers that stand too wide with their feet and they stand a little bit too far away. So I want you to imagine that you hit driver. The further away we stand with driver, because the club's obviously relatively longer, the angle the club's travelling on is going to be a lot flatter, meaning the body's, the club's going to circle the body and let's say a more rounded approach. But what we do, we see a lot of golfers who they'll set up a little bit too far away from a golf ball. The club generally goes a little bit too inside. What you do, when you set up to a pitch shot, we want to keep this nice and simple. I want you to feel like we get the club, the top of this club. So if you stand too far away, what's going to happen is this top end, the club's going to point directly towards, let's say, my, my belly button. Almost the heel of the club's just slightly sitting off the ground. So we're not getting the hands too low and then the hand's too far ahead, almost in that position, that's going to allow the ability to dig in. It's like a spirit level, so if I have the spirit level on the shoulders, the spirit level's going to tilt to the right. I'm trying to level off the shoulders, so shoulders are nice and level, put the club against your shoulders. Level shoulders, instead of being tilted too much left or right, and it's almost the feeling that the left shoulder gradually wants the feeling and the left shoulder's a little bit more down, and if you're a golfer that struggles with the left shoulder too high, so left shoulder a little bit more down, and all we're going to do from there is we're just going to get the club a little more upright, ball in the middle of our feet, standing a little bit narrower. And all we're doing from there is we're just rehearsing movements of getting weight back to our left side. We don't want to create too much left shoulder too high, weight stays on the back foot. Level, club more upright. From that position, we're, we're not allowing the club to go too far on the inside and take weight. Because we're standing a little bit closer, the club generally doesn't want to work inside as much. So stand a little closer and just feel like I'm hitting a nice crisp pitch shot. So my weight's free from my left foot on the way through. But the main kind of thing that we're missing out from that position is we need to get our chest to turn towards the target. So our chest, there's a laser on my chest and there's a laser on the target. That laser and on my chest and the target should remain connected all the way through. If we get this right shoulder too, too low at setup, ten says the chest doesn't take so well for the struggles with contact issues. Try this technique, see how you get on, let me know your thoughts in the video. So stand closer, on top end the club not right, and then we're just rotate the body towards target. So chest, that laser between your chest and target has to be connected, and that's going to help you prevent, let's say, ground contact before the golf ball. It's going to help you hit the ball a little bit more consistently, pitch the ball close to the hole, and become a better golfer around. Let me know your thoughts on this video and we'll see you soon.